following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Maybe we can still heal you. Why? So you can just lock me up? No. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships. Because they knew death was better than bondage. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blind. <laughs> the shadows betray you because they belong to me. In the hell do you think you are? Okay, it's not working out. I'm gonna need the suit back. For how long? Forever. Yeah. Yeah, let's No, 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 please, please, please. Let's sister, have it. You don't understand. The thing is, this is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it, okay? So, Oz. Um, John Wick 3. It was a movie. We can both agree on that. And it was a movie, I think, was well-received by a good amount of people. What are your thoughts on John Wick 3? Non-spoiler. Um, John Wick 3 Parabellum. Um, prepare for war. Non-spoiler. Uh, I, uh, I, it, it, is, <laughs> it is in the same good chapter. It's a good book. It's in the same good book as all the rest of the John Wicks. Um, it's not a spoiler. Um, he encounters, uh, lots of people. Um, he kills lots of people. If you feel like that's a spoiler, I got to tell you, it is not a spoiler. Um, you haven't seen John Wick if you didn't know. He, uh, it it was good, man. It was a very good ride. I, one of my biggest problems that I have with the movie, if I can say it, is that I, I am tired of being a crowded theater to see John Wick and me going, oh my God, I can't believe you just did that. You know, I, I have to learn to keep my mouth shut um, and not laugh and clap too loud. Um, but it was it was a good ride. It was exactly what it meant to be. Yeah, there were uh, there were more than there was more than one moment that was kind of a uh, wow. He did that. You know, it, it it got it got to be to the point where it was like, all right, w- w- what are you gonna do next? Well, he he he. He literally, and, um, you know, we can edit this out later if I spoiled it for people. He literally, through all three movies, has found a way to eliminate his opponent in every sort of way. Yeah, he, he, that dude is so driven and his will is is amazing. Like this this guy is, is, is is pretty much a superhero at this point. Well, I, I, w- I was going to put him against Jason Bourne, but unfortunately, man, Jason Bourne wouldn't stand a chance. Jason Bourne could probably shoot him in the chest and he'd survive. Well, I um, I have some theories about John Wick. Well, I, I think I think it's I think if you've seen one and two, we can talk about one of your theories. Okay, I I I, I feel well. I, you know, I don't want I really don't want to do spoiler. Alert. You're gonna have to give like you know a big spoiler alert on this one. But I think. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, man. I think when people look back on all three movies and they see who he has chosen to let live and chosen not to, I think this is going to, John Wick 4 or John Wick 5, if we're blessed with a 5, um, I feel like it is going to lead us to um, a sort of, uh, dare I say, a Game of Thrones um, type of event. Where he where he will have his um his uh without any, but again without spoiler alerts where he'll have his round table, um, so 
yeah. I know I know a lot of people listening to us who have listened to us review uh, movies and TV shows. I know they're probably like, yeah, these guys are trying to give a non spoiler review. We'll see how this oh. goes. We've 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 done pretty well so far. Hey, hey regular Scott, I have to say some right off the bat too. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I it, it means a lot in this universe, in this world, to say you're sorry. And to and be like, I'm sorry, and really mean it, and repentful. That's the reason why you say you're sorry, to repent. I want to tell all our listeners, I am so sorry that I ever said polar. Was anything, <laughs> like anything near John Wick. Polar, the dude from Polar, compared to John Wick, is like, the smartest termite compared to a human. You know what I'm saying? There, there is zero comparison. Um, I, 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 I get it, man. I know what it was. I was under the influence of, 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 of lots of things, drugs, you know, like I was drinking my beer. Oh, wow. oh my I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm confessing, dude. What is I, going I on, my, dude? This ain't no confessional. I, no, it's a true confessional, man. I, I got I to gotta, I gotta clean the slate. I had my beers in me. I might have had like a stronger version of beer than I'm used to, like I maybe the Sierra Nevada. Actually, not like, think, yeah, um, the city, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it could have been the, um, the the local brewery. You know, they might have tapped my drink a little bit, but yeah, I apologize profusely, dude. Um, polar, let's leave that out in cold you, where it should you, belong. You stood on polar so strong. No, oh, dude, polar man, polar, polar, well, no, polar. I, 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 dude, if I sounded like Macho Man Randy Savage, like you just did, then I'll say I'm really sorry. <laughs> no, no, but here it goes. There are some good like action scenes in it, but man, the villain in Polar was booty. I'm gonna you know tell you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna talk about Polar on oh, the dude, day we're hey, supposed hey, to talk I, about I, John Wick. Mike Conventional says that we will no longer ever mention Polar. No, I didn't say we. I don't. It don't, it don't have to be like ex. You know, blackballed. Ex, excommunicado. Hey, hey, oh, hey, in honor of John Wick, Polar is excommunicado. Ah, yeah, for now, and I don't think it's going to survive it. I, I do, I do love when they when he asked them, you know, what do you think his odds are, and he says everyone against John Wick. It's probably about even. Oh, dude, dude, man, um, they sent. Oh, dude, John Wick. He, oh man, yo, and if you, if PETA ever had an issue with any movie, PETA should be happy because they use those animals in the best way possible, dude. It was beautiful. They even, they put a little sympathy on the animals, you know, won't get too much away, but the animal, animal gets its due. Animals, the dogs hold it down. Oh man, dude, the, the, yo, your girl. Spoiler alert! Spoiler. Your no, girl. No spoiler alert. Halle Berry has Halle Berry has one of the best twenty minute scenes I have ever hey, seen her in. That might be Regular her Scott. best scene ever. Regular Scott, I'm going to go as far as say this: all you fools that have given her crap about Catwoman, you too. All the other things, I'm a fool too. But I'm going to say, man, she redeemed her. Oh, and even Storm with the wig. Let me tell you something, dude. It has been squashed in a race. Halle Berry is back at the picnic table. She's 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 allowed back at the cookout. Um, she did her thing. Her dude. fight scene was nat. That was one of the best parts of the movie. Dude, dude, every, everything, dude, and and then um, you know, and then the dogs. Oh, the dogs are just amazing, man. The dogs, oh, dude, I can't. Ah. It was it was it, it it was like this, man. If you're trained to know what you do, and you are fighting on. Or with John Wick's side, you will come out alive, dude. You will come out alive. You got a you got a good shot at it. You 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 got a if, if, if Homeboy was taken out like yeah you know, like like we mentioned the other day where Scott if Homeboy was taking out various um, um, assassins in various outfits, yo man, uh, I'm just saying, dude. John, I'm gonna say it right now. John Wick is a mutant. <laughs> what's his what's his ability oh no you, you can laugh all you want to do john wick has He's a um for, has for has has uh two 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 abilities going on for him 
Um, <laughs> one is this, that if he, uh, actually, let me, let me squash it. He is either a mutant with like super regenerative um, healing, uh, healing factor and healing powers, or he is truly Bruce Wayne. Um, Just letting loose. Do oh, 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 with the indomitable will, dude. If he was, if he were, if he were a lantern, they would automatically give that cat a green lantern. I know they would not give him a blue lantern. He wishes he would get a blue lantern, but now he he's not about that love, dude. He he would get a black lantern or he would get a green lantern. Wow. So you, okay. Wow. So look, let's um, let's let's before we end this non spoiler part of the review, let's rank. John Wick three on our on our scale, um, our beautiful scale of the things that we yeah, yeah. that we love slash hate in the world. Um, you know, we got the top of the food chain, which is the Iris West. The you know, Iris West mean, for sure. With, a, with an Iris infinity West. gauntlet, if you need it, if you need it. And then you know, middle of the road, you get yourself, you get yourself an MGK. You know, Machine you know? Gun Kelly. Shout out to Machine Gun Kelly. He did a couple movies. Uh, that's about all you can say about him in the movies. That's, that's about all you can say about him. Dude. Shout out he, the Bird Box. Yeah, yeah. Shout out the Bird Box. Um, shout out to the Breakfast Club. He should um, really recon. <laughs> he should really reconsider when he uh, is um, giving props to a person who is dissing him. But that, but but you know. So that's how we old, got it. So that's the middle of the ground. So if you think yeah, it's like yeah, a six, ground. you know, pretty good. Yeah, give us six, you know, and then we got ourselves a little Jar Jar Binks. Um, you know, and regular Scott, you should go first. What do you rank this? Uh, oh, oh, it's definitely an Iris. Ah, uh, you know what? It's an Iris West, but she's she's wearing Mira's wig because I I didn't like the ending. Okay, see, so I have two strong points to talk to you about, and maybe we have to just let it be a spoiler because, like. My, I understand because I, 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 the listeners. No, we're gonna know. do it. No, Oz, listen. We are so close to having a non-spoiler conversation okay. about a movie. Well, well, do well, we do is... not do not fumble the ball here at the five-yard line. Okay, I, I, what I'm gonna say, um, we discussed this before, me and you, and I understand your beef with the ending, but I will also say this. Okay, without it being a spoiler, alert, I will I will say this in broad strokes. Oz, don't do it. Remember, <laughs> always remember your clothes. I'll say that. I, yeah, I hear that. It still doesn't change my mind. What are you and, ranking it? Oh, uh, that, that was for me. Um, until I see Brightburn, um, that was Iris West. I, 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 Iris West with um, an Infinity Gauntlet. Like, God dang. Wait, hold, hold, listen to me. Infinity Gauntlet with for Earth six one six, but also an Infinity Gauntlet for um, other multiple Earths because only Infinity Gauntlets only work in your universe. So I want that movie to work in multiple universes. So you think it was the best um, movie ever? Uh, not ever, dude. It was it, it was good because I'm telling you, like you know, can you see Cano? There was some stuff that was choreographed very well, and you could feel like it was choreographed, but th- there still was good plot, dude. I, no, 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 no doubt, no doubt. And, and I love, I love that whole sense of just because you're, just because people think you're crazy, doesn't mean that you're crazy. You may have another agenda going on. I love that whole sense of like, still the style of like, you know, bring out your style, man. You yeah, know, here, here, let me, let me, let me put it to you like this. If John, if anybody else was fighting other people and they, they said, take your butt off. Um, the fight will be over. The pants will be all falling down, dude. You know, just that, saying. I, I would it. I got it. You know, John, because have a tailored look, dude. That cat, dude. He, yo, man. I'm gonna say this to you and to our listeners. John Wick is a professional. We can we can all agree on that. But, uh, but, I, I, but look, I, before I, before we before ahead, we get yes. too deep into that, because we Always. we we are we just did a non spoiler talk about a movie. We did it. Uh, before we get too deep into things, allow me to set the table. This is Take a Knee for Marvel vs. DC. I am your host, Regular Scott. I am here with the comic connoisseur, the mighty Ozzy Killmonger. Ozzy, what's going on? Um, what is up, good people? 
Um, yeah, you know, I, 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 yo, we we cannot bust bust our groove on the spoiler alert and, and uh, spoiler, so we're not going to spoil it. Actually, we being me, because you're always good about that, Roger Scott. I'm the one who blows it. I got to say this though. I have to say this. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I figure out plug stuff? Can you know what I'm saying? Can we get the email? It, it, and stuff dude, like this that? is What's burning me, on, man. man. This is burning me up. I gotta say it, and you can plug away, and I'll be I'll be good for the rest of the show. <laughs> okay. All right. Get you get turn your showers on. Get your plates ready. Yeah. Here we come. I, I, I have to say this because, um, I thought about it during the movie and after the movie. So for everybody who hasn't seen John Wick three, go see it. There is a line that he says that it can be interpreted in two different ways. And it bothered me. And it actually, when he said that, when he said those words, I was like, oh, I get it. Maybe this is kind of on the lines of like mythology. Maybe this is on the lines of a little like sci-fi ish happening. It's very interesting what he says. And you could take it anyway. And I bet you if you got the script, the script will have it the way most people think. But now, when I heard him say those words, I was like, oh, maybe this cat is a little supernatural. No, nobody has any clue what you're talking about. I'm good. I'm trying, to be good. I'm, I'm trying to be good. Nobody I, I, has any clue reg, what you're talking Scott, about. I, I want to. I want to tur- I want to I want to pause this show. I know we can't do it, but I want to pause this show and tell you that line and I will blow your mind, dude. I will blow your mind, I promise. Um anyway, yo man, plug plug our show, man. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, hey, hey, I, I'm serious. I will blow okay, your look, mind. As soon as dude. soon as we hit some news topics and we can jump right into the spoiler part of John Wick. Okay. All right. Oh man, it's been eating me up. Dude. All right. All right. Look, and you can follow us on Twitter. We put news articles up. We got polls up, uh, pictures, all kinds of things up on the Twitter at knee for Marvel vs DC. You can email us at knee for Marvel vs DC. That's right. It's exactly the same thing with the number four. Okay. At go to five we will email you back. Any questions, comments, any topics you want us to discuss, anything like that, we're all ears. We're 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 pretty open minded, wouldn't you say, Oz? Oh man, we are. Um, we, we parachutes only function when they're open, so you know I feel like we're we are parachutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, yeah, we're parachutes, and uh, you can uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and give us five stars on Apple iTunes. Uh, Spreaker, Radio Public, TuneIn, Spotify, and anywhere you listen to your podcast, you can find us there. Look up Take a Knee from All Reverse DC. Um, Oz, you know, we, 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 we work hard on this show. And, we do work you know, hard we, on this show. We, we want to make sure we try to put out a good product for you. So uh, just, you know, leave us a review, five stars, and uh, we'll keep trying to do our thing for you. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you give us some reviews, you do your thing, we'll keep doing our thing. You don't have to, though. Nah, well, you should, man. Come on, man, support the Blurds, man. You know, <laughs> everybody's out here hustling, man. We got to hustle, dude, support the Blurds. Hey, yo, and uh, me and regular Scott have um, some surprises ahead of, for you all. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah. get down to business, regular Scott. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. you said that, because uh, next week um, we will be releasing a special show. Uh, oh, I'm not going to tell you when it's going to release, but it's going to oh, release boy. sometime in the middle of the week. And um, we have Big B Stats uh, coming on. Now, if you don't know who that is, your kids probably do if they watch YouTube. Oh, dude. Um, Come on, man. Oh, of course, Steve. Yes. He's got over 2 million subscribers. He's a Minecraft legend. I think it's fair to call him that at this point. What you say? Ian- legend, influencer, um Big B like hit two million um, subscribers. Um, this cat, man, uh, he's a he's a humble dude, a smart dude. Um, just it was it was a pleasure. It was an absolute pleasure interviewing him. Yeah, we had we have an interview with him, and uh, we're gonna that's gonna be a surprise drop next week. So sometime during this week, since this is dropping Sunday, sometime during this week, uh, yeah, you're gonna get a surprise interview. That's just going to drop during the week. And, uh, you know, we had a real good time with him. He's an, Let me tell you this. He's an extremely humble guy for as much as he's accomplished and how hard he's worked. 
and he's done a lot and he's extremely humble well you know we try to make him feel comfortable and chip away at that and let him have a little fun loosen up and we had a great time you know, like i said great conversation um very insightful and it's it's good for you know it's good to see other black you know creators and um just you know people who enjoy the same things doing it big you know making moves yeah. like he's he's really making moves out there and we talk about some of the things he's got a comic book um you know he's he's worked on some weapons he's worked on some video games like he's he's done a lot for for the business you know for that for that genre for that industry and we talk about all that it's a really good interview and i, I think you guys will like it so we got that as a surprise coming this week yeah right with scott hey, by the way um yo to our listeners this cat was on an overnight success He's been like down in the trenches, working hard, dude. Took him a while to get his following, get his groove. Don't give away too groove, much. Don't give away too much. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, right. But once he got his groove, yo, he was grooving and groovy. Okay. It's a, it's a good interview. So, um, all right. Uh, and uh, shout out to uh, Kingpin J from Defy Life. Appreciate that. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's get into some news. Do 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 do. Um, Hawkman and Hawk Girl are rumored for Wonder Woman eighty four. What are your thoughts? Than- on- what are your thoughts on that? Before I tell you the potential castings, Thanagarians versus the Amazonians. What are your What are your thoughts on that? And Wonder Woman eighty four. Well, you know, it, it could do, it could be anything. And, you know, it's, it's very simple. And watch this. Here you uh, here, look out for this one. Um, easy fix in the year 84, have uh, Diana Prince in there. Uh, she meets uh, Kendra and Carter. And um, they uh, have flashbacks of memories because Diana has been around for a long time. So in her journeys, I bet. Way back in the day, she ran into those two, didn't understand, and that will lead into things. Hear me out, kids. Wait, wait for it, listeners. You'll, you'll, you'll see. The, 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 their first encounter was probably back in the day. Okay, okay. That's a, um, the potential castings are Sam Worthington for Hawkman. Do you know who that is? Yeah, oh, yeah, of course, man. Okay, all right, all right, okay. And Alicia Vikander for Hawk Girl. Do you know who that is? She was the latest Tomb Raider, Laura Croft. Oh, 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 wow, that's interesting. And then you know we're getting Cheetah, so it would be Wonder Woman, Cheetah, and Hawkman, Hawk Girl. Yeah, but, but, but then it's like, why is Cheetah involved in this? Like, who um, is it double villains versus double good guys? I, who knows? Huh. You know, maybe maybe we don't even get Cheetah until the very end as a setup for number for the next movie. You know, maybe, it could be because maybe you know, maybe maybe you're onto something about the um, you know about the Amazonians fighting. Yeah, let's let's see let's see because because like, you know it's an easy fix for it to be like the Thanagarian War. You know, so um, let's see. As I, I <clears throat> actually I I kind of I like that premise better. Because I, I think you could set it up in a way to kind of build up Cheetah throughout the movie and kind of make her, make her transformation a little bit more impactful. Well, well, if people remember properly. Go get your showers, everybody. This might be a long one. <laughs> Here we go. Um, go get your ice cream too. Hey, if people remember properly, With Cheetah oil. is the embodiment of that spirit. So they they could easily set it up for uh, Diana to meet them and mistakenly open this thing up and it releases Cheetah. Um, you know, oh, there's there's a lot of different potential going on. Let's see what happens. No, but I, but I do like your idea about it because I, I I like that idea because then it's a good way to introduce them uh, as far as Hawkman and Hawk Girl and you know you can always you can always do the the tire trope of fight at the beginning become friends at the end which is fine. Usual, it's all about how you do thing. it. Yeah, and it's all hey, about reg- how you do it. Regular Scott, we're gonna do we're gonna start a new segment called. Um, Uncle Oz gives movie producers a million a million dollars. I just gave them a million dollars with another with another idea. Well, I mean, you, you do know? it you do it at least you do it once every other week. So yeah, I, I think Uncle we might... Oz gives a, gives away a million dollars. 
<laughs> and look, even if they don't do it, I bet you it'll be like an animated movie soon or another, oh, another they, comic storyline. Oh, yeah. They don't, and, and, and seriously, some movie exec is like, I just came up with this great idea. Little do they know that I listen and take a knee every single Sunday. Um, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Is it all good, though? It's love, man. It's the blurred love, man. Yeah, you know? I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. I don't know if I can um, agree with that. I I think you need to stop giving them away. Oh, uh, dude. I, I okay. Um, uh, we'll, we'll 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 work on that. <laughs> okay, great. Here we go. Moving on. Um, well, actually, what do you think about the uh, what do you think about the castings for Hawkman and Hawkgirl though? It's fine, man. I I I I, I don't know. I'm on a I'm on a weird I'm on a weird trip because I kind of just. I just go, let's see what happens, man. They're going to put um, the vampire for um, Bruce for Bruce Wayne, you know. Um, if they're going to put um, Shimmering Diamond Dude for Bruce Wayne, I, I, I'm going to stay open for everything. And uh, while, you, while you're on that, there is a, now there are the rumors going around that Kristen Stewart is in the running for Catwoman. I said that. I said that like like 10 episodes ago. You did. You did say that. You yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I, 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 they heard you. They heard I you. Smelled it. Uncle Oz. There you go, dude. You're doing it again. They heard you. Uncle Oz gives away a million dollars. Okay. You, you just can't help yourself. No, well, I, I, you can smell it. You can smell what they're doing, man. You know? No, they heard you and were like, oh, that's a better idea than what we had. Let's just go with that. That's easy. Well, I wish they would have heard me when I said, don't have Batman have sex with Batgirl. And ruined the first ten minutes of an awesome anime well, movie. Well, they can't. Well, they can't change it after they already did it. No, nah, bro. They they see the problem is that they have selective hearing, you know. So it, it's. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm it's with all it. good. Yeah, it's all good. All right. Um, the Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, Disney Plus show. Yeah. Will be picking up after the events of Infinity War, obviously, or I'm sorry, Endgame, obviously, and um, Falcon will be Captain America, and it'll be about him establishing himself and Bucky helping him out. The latest rumor for that show is Baron Zemo mm-hmm. will be one of the main villains, and it'll be the same actor from Civil War. Mm-hmm. Interesting. How do you feel about him being a potential villain for his, well, potential first big villain for Sam Wilson and um, kind of the second meeting for Bucky Barnes? Um. You know, part of me, I was thinking about this earlier today for some reason. Part of me um, was just thinking that, man, Bucky, it'd be nice. I know he, all he wants to do is just chill in Wakanda and just, like, live a very simple life and forget about all the stuff that's happened to him that he's done. But he keeps getting drawn back into stuff. People are um, doing the usual um, uh, kind of sublime, subtle, racist comments about Samuel, um, Sam Wilson, uh, how can he be Captain America? Because he's not enhanced. He doesn't have a super super soldier serum. So let me bust this out for everybody right now. Um, just, for, just, just to stop this silliness from happening anymore, here it is. He doesn't have to have the super soldier serum. The only reason Steve Rogers became Captain America wasn't because of the super soldier serum. It's because he had the heart, and they even said that. It's because he had the heart and the mind and the compassion to represent us and be Captain America. That's the only reason it worked for him. So it was stated that Samuel um, Sam Wilson has the same attributes. He even said it himself when Nick Fury was just like, uh, look when he looks at them all like, what, what, what do you want me to do? And Sam said, hey, I do what he does, but only slower. So we're going to have to deal with him just learning how to deal with the shield, and all the good stuff, man. It'd be dope if they get a little old man Captain America in there just for some more guidance and stuff. But I'm just saying, man. Let's see what's up, man. Let's see what's up. How do you, f- I, you know, I, I'm I like it. How do you feel about Bucky kind of being a sidekick, though? Like I, I I think Bucky's a little bit better than that. Well, but Bucky is a sidekick. He's always been a sidekick. The thing is, Bucky has always been a sidekick for Captain America. Okay. Not not for Steve Rogers, for Captain America. Ah, true. 
Okay. Well, well, well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 well worded. Well put right there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with that. So it's just, it's just again, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna squash all this talk. I'm gonna squash all of it, dude. You know. Um. And, 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 and who's to say that he cannot, since he's got those um augmented wings that are jets that he'll be using. Who's to say that they won't incorporate some stuff into his suit that can like nano nanotech in his suit that would augment his strength? Let's just end it right now. And and yo, let's do it. What would be dope too, regular sky, is if they actually during halfway through the series, um, Uncle Oz gives away a million dollars. They establish that, oh, maybe he is a mutant. Maybe he can talk to birds. That's why he can fly so well. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, Sharon Carter is also rumored for the TV show with the same actress from Civil War. Yeah. What are they going to do with her, though? <laughs> I have a bad feeling she might end up becoming Sam Wilson's love interest or Bucky's. Dude, um, regular Scott gives away a million dollars. <laughs> exactly. I, hey, I, I just, hey, I already hey, see it coming. There's exactly. already going to be the awkward joke of, Oh, but you kissed Steve. Yeah. But you know, it's okay. And they're going to be like, all right, it's fine. She's going to hook up with one. Nah, of them. Dude, it's guaranteed. Right, she's hooking up with one of them. Yo, hey, 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 I'm planting the seed right now. Here it goes. Here's the scenario. They're talking. Well, don't the give kids. them the scene. <laughs> no, I, 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 here's the scene right here. I can, I can see it. I, I, I have, it's foreshadowing all over it. They're talking, being intimate, dinner, or fighting in a battle scene, and they're about to kiss. And he's like, oh, but you, you, you've you kissed Steve. And she's going to be like, before she lays a kiss on him, go, it's okay. He's kissed my aunt. You know, it's it, dude. I smell it. I smell it a mile away, dude. You know, uh, all right. <laughs> You're probably right, though. Yeah, man, dude. Come on, dude. Um, random, random thought. Uh, you know, I've been kind of going, been trying to get back into, you know, getting consistently into getting my box and reading my comics. And one thing I've noticed is Blade has become a lot more prominent here lately. And I wonder, well, I wanted to ask, do you think that's a sign of him making a return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe or a Disney Plus show? It feels more like a Disney Plus show because, so they've done the Wesley Snipes, and you can kind of see, if you ever go on Wesley Snipes' Instagram, he gives subtle chides. Like, he'll post a Blade picture of himself as Blade once a week, basically, just really reminding people. I was like, we get it, Wesley. We know, we know. Respect, all respect. But they did, um, oh, what was it? Um, was it Sticky Fingers? Um, anyway, um, yeah, one of the cats. On Spike TV. Yeah, one of the cats from Onyx did it. He, he was good. He did, a, he, did a, he did a reasonably good Blade. And so I feel like Blade was meant, for, oh, and then there was the um, anime Blade that they did for that whole Marvel series that was Iron Man, X Men, Blade, Wolverine. and one more too, and Wolverine. Thank you, sir. Um, so I feel like he was made for a series, and because you know, because they could explore a lot of stuff with that too. So I but feel like he's a Disney series. I <clears throat> my my counter to that would be wouldn't wouldn't he be the perfect fit to kind of be your R rated gory? Um, kind of just to be in that genre. Yeah, but see, I think people, the powers that be that should not be in power, will say, "Oh, we have Black Panther. We don't want to do any, another one." So they'll they'll say that we're celebrating our diversity. I actually, I didn't, by, I, by I, I didn't even series. think about that. That's a well. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I didn't even think about that. That's a good point too. That's another black. That's another easy black lead character that could carry his own movie. Well, maybe, but but I think they would see him as a. If they say he's a series, they can be like, look what we have. We have Blade and um, Captain America, two prominent black people um, and a series, you know. Um, and that way they could spend, their, they could spend their, their stuff and never, ever have to put another black person in a series ever again. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you're probably right. But it's a, I mean, that's just a, to me, Blade is Blade is an easy, easy lead. That can carry a movie. 
Well, you'd have to write a really good script because we have seen such good Marvel movies, dude. It would have to be some really like straight off the wall. Like, See, I, I don't think you need a, a great script as much as you just need Blade. Could just Blade just needs some great scenes and a great Blade. And yeah. I think and I think and I think you can get by with a decent movie. You know, like you don't need a blockbuster for every one of your movies. You know what I mean? Like, just put something in the genre. That way, it just you can you can be in all the genres. Now let's let's keep it one hundred. All these companies want to be in all the genres. No, yeah, you could do a, you could do a rated R movie that this is a vampire shit of a, a horror vampire flick. Uh, let's see what happens with New Mutants, right? That movie, the movie New if Mutants, if it ever comes out. I know. I, I'm not too confident that's coming out, at least in theaters. Yeah, let's see. Um, so let me ask you this, Oz. Do you want to do Game of Thrones before or after John Wick? Um, we can. It, I will leave it up to you. I, it's going to be – everybody should be prepared to go eat some food and take a shower because we, we, we're going to discuss both, and it's going to – um, I got I got some theories. I got some I got some I, 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 I have some confusions. I got stuff on both things, man. All right, and, well, and, 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 they, and they've been they've been activating my ulcer, so I need to and my hernia too. So I got to talk about it so I can just release oh the my pain, God, man. Dude, what the heck is going on? Dude, You've been I, throwing out some crazy analogies tonight. Well, man, I'm just saying, man. I, I, I when we get into Game of Thrones and when we get into John Wick, I got some stuff, dude. I got some stuff to get off my chest. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to play a commercial, and I'm going to think about it while the commercial plays. What do you think about that? Yeah, and, and your choice. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play I'll, I'll have I'll make up my mind by the time the commercial is done. So y'all listen Allegedly. to this commercial. Uh, uh, hopefully. Uh, y'all listen to this commercial, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll figure out what we're going to do next. Yo, what up, my people? This is J.R. Glant from Defy Life. If you're looking for an in-depth, honest, at times hilarious conversation on anything from current events to sports to entertainment and more, check out myself, Alvin, Thomas, Gerald, and Yosh on the Defy Life podcast. Dropping every Wednesday, available at GoDefyLife.com and everywhere your favorite podcasts are available. And as always, if you're not rocking with Defy Life, what's your life about? Shout out Big IG. Shout out West Coast J. What you know about that, Oz? Yeah, man. Biggie Smalls, man. Yeah, I was just wondering. <clears throat> and it feels to and it feels stupendous. Um all right. Um, so I made a decision. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go John Wick three. Okay. Um, let's, let's just talk, uh, spoilers, anything we want. So, uh, big spoiler alerts, you know? Yeah. One more um, time for I, those that don't know, this means spoiler alert. No, no, I, 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 I just, I, 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 I you want me to say it? Well, I, I just like to start with this. Can we talk about that god daggone ending? How in the world is this dude supposed that there's no way this guy survives that fall? Um the suit absorbs it, it, it can absorb um it, it's Kevlar. Um it won't it won't take puncture wounds, but it can absorb like impact stuff. That's what that's what I, that's what I'm going with right there. No. Okay. He landed face first. Like he didn't he didn't land like on his shoulder. He landed face first. 
Uh, I do. I, I understand, man. I understand. And his legs snapped against one of the poles, so his legs should have been snapped off. Well, well, we don't know what kind of shape he's in. We just know that he survived. No, we 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 saw him when he talked at the end. And he's like, "Yeah, you know, dude, yeah." He's, Keanu Reeves' voice. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, man. Hey, let me tell you something. Um, but before that ending, that movie was on its way to getting a Iris West with an Infinity Gauntlet on both hands. Well, look, let me tell you this, dude. There were a lot of other times when he should he should not have been he should not have survived. Okay. Yes, but so that just, was the most egregious. I don't know if it was egregious. It was just, uh, um, I, I think, I think they knew what was going on. I um, um, our our, uh, our two guys, the one guy who said he runs New York, the other guy who says who says he runs the underground of New York. Um, they they I think they hashed the plan and they knew what was going to happen. So I'm just saying. Okay. All right. I'm happy brother man. I'm happy both brother man survived. Yeah, well now I'm not. He a bad guy. No, well he's not a bad guy, dude. He he's just doing his thing, man. Well he dead next he dead next movie. Okay. Well I'm I'm gonna here, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's gonna happen next movie. Okay, it goes like this. They all go after the high council. They take out, and it's going to be so beautiful because you're going to get to see the elite of the elite, you know. So it's going to be um, John Wick, Lawrence Fishburne, Halle Berry, the two guys from the raid that he let live. Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 sir. Here's who it's going to be, because everybody's it's it's going to be just like Game of Thrones. Everybody's going to have their little piece of the pie. After John Wick, he's going to be the the big the big dude. Halle Berry and everybody's going to get their stuff. So it's going to be John Wick. Halle Berry, the two dudes from the raid, Rose, Ruby Rose, Common, Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, you think Common's coming back? Oh, Ruby and Common are coming back, dude. They're all going to be, and and Ruby's going to take out your your um your beautiful short hair girl. Oz, let me tell you something, dude. You got to stop talking. That's a great idea. Oz gives away a million dollars. Like that's a great idea. Like oh, it, it, I, I'm getting excited thinking about it because I I just the conversations between like Common and John Wick. But you heard you heard teasers of it. John saved Hallie, and Hallie had a blood debt to him. Everybody has their own blood debt. They couldn't collect the little thumbprint on the like the thing like John had for Hallie. But they had another ways when he says, if you pull this knife out, boom. So I'm just saying, dude, it's all those. All of them are going to be ruthless. And, and again, you're going to see the – you. It, it's it's like it is going to be – when you see that – when you see the high council and who they are, it's going to be like going to Wakanda or Atlantis. So it, it, it's going to be that you're going to be like, whoa, that's amazing. It's going to be good, dude. I, I see John Wick is kind of being more of the if we're using Game of Thrones analogies, the Jon Snow. I don't think he wants the crown. I think Lawrence Fishburne wants the crown. I think it is totally. They're going to um, if if your boy is really a bad dude, they're going to eliminate him. The other cat, Halle Berry, becomes the ruler of all of the. Um, of, of of the safe haven places. Sorry, the name is getting me right now. I can't. My, my brain. It becomes a ruler of all those. Common becomes the enforcer. You know. Um, oh, dude. The two dudes take over the jo- the dojo that their master had. You know. Come on, man. There's so much potential for so much amazingness in that, dude. It's no, you need so to much stop good. giving away stuff and just like send in a script or something. Well, okay. Well, uh, um, do you want me to blow your mind with with some info that will prove to you that John Wick is supernatural? Well, it's not going to prove to me, but I, I'm sure you have a pretty strong argument for it. I do, and 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 they gave it away in the movie. So, first off, they call him the the what the the Habagita, the um, um, the boogeyman. Um, you know, the old Russian folklore, the person that you don't see that everybody's scared of, that the kids are scared of. That's cool. Everybody, he's got that rep. 
So you see that one little scene, and, and he has that weight about him because you see that one scene where those two, the red and the blue um, young boys are fighting, the same orphanage that he had to go through, the same training, and that one red purposely puts that blue dude under just so that he could try and be, just so he could try and impress John Wick. Um, here, and then I'm just, I'm just, I'm biding my time before I give it away. So, Uncle Oz is predicting that John Wick is supernatural by this one simple line. When he's talking to your Angel, Angelica Houston character, he says these words, and I am old. Everybody's going to interpret that as like, yes, he is old justification, O-W-E-D. He's old. He's old. Um, his debt, and they can't do anything. They have to pay it no matter what, because that, that is older than the high councils. Uh -uh. Uncle Oz interpreted that as him saying, I am O-L-D. I am old. Because when he said that, the look on her face was the look of a person going, okay, I can play these games, but I know this guy is old. It, it, I think he is. He has some supernatural ability about him because of that. He literally was saying, "I am old," like as in he's been around forever and ever. So, what's his supernatural ability? I, I think I think he is literally the agent of death. I put I put a good case that he is death incarnate. He is uh, he he is the he's he is like the angel of death. You know, we we've talked off air about how potentially we there might be a connection between John Wick and the Matrix. Um, what if it's actually more so a connection with Constantine? Oh, I, oh, do or it, it, what? what if, yeah, or what if it? You could even go with the Matrix thing because like him, not just not just because of him and Lawrence Fishburne, but like this guy has survived, uh, it fits into your mold, regular Scott, of why he survived that fall. Because he just can't die? <laughs> well, here it is. Not that he's the one in it, but maybe because the Matrix, remember, the Matrix is what you see. Maybe it's assimilation. Remember when Neo said, when Morpheus said, make the jump over the two buildings, and he did it without any problem because it's a training program, and he'd done it before. Neo didn't make it, made it halfway through, and bounced on the ground. Yeah, I would say that, but except he didn't bounce when he hit that ground when he fell. He just smacked it and stopped. I I I, I get it. Um, we, we we'll see. Yeah. Well, um, let me ask you this. I mean, ending ending aside, um, we we can agree John Wick has been three really good movies. Um. It's one of the few trilogies where all the movies are good. Yeah, and, and they don't. It, it, it gets. You can say the storyline was better and should have left it one, but it the, from one to three. I like I like the story in two. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But I'm just saying one from one to three, one, two, and three. It, the storylines still stay great. They're great storylines. Well, and, and and they're just evolving. Like, and it's it's a it's a organic evolvement. You know, it's oh, evolvement, evolving. It just gets better you know, and it's, better. It's just yeah, it's a very organic, and it's easy to follow. What well, it's once you follow it, it's easy to kind of follow the tea leaves. And regular Scott, let, let, let's just be for real for something. You may hate that whole thing about the roof and him falling off the roof, and that totally ruined it for you. Yo, yeah, man, he, it didn't ruin it for me, but it definitely it, it, I mean, it hurt uh, it a little bit. Uh, it, it, put, it made a little salt in the wound, a bit, okay? A little bit. Um, this dude was fighting cats in all full body armor. Yo, I'm watching this going, all right, at what point does, like, like how, <laughs> come on, man, like, how is he doing this? And then I'm asking myself, why haven't you been shooting these guys in the leg the whole time? Oh, but, but, but he, he, here's the kicker. He did shoot him in the leg. Like they put, they had on full body armor. Where no, because because only... at the because then at, at towards oh, right. the end he'd start when he was shooting him in the leg. They were like dropping. Like once he was like, all right, now I know what to do. Like why weren't you doing that to begin with? Once you saw you when you shot him in the head and it bounced off. Well, hey yo, uh, that cat brought up the shotgun and that became the equalizer. <laughs> hey, when he went, when them two went and got the, 
the little moments. Let me tell you something about John Wick. And and, and I just I watched John Wick two and John Wick one um, over the weekend to get ready because my wife wanted to watch three. So she was she was all invested and she loved the movie. She thought they were great. She loved the ending. Um, that's great. Yeah, but and one of the things that you know that's just fresh in my mind after watching all three is the to me some of the best parts of those movies are the smaller moments you know the quieter moments where it's just them like talking you know or just background music while they're loading shotguns and the dogs just laying there looking around yeah you know it's just the smaller moments like that make those movies it, 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 I, I love it no there, it, there is there is great the Halle Berry spitting back into the water dude, that was terrible you know that was great dude. little touches like that Halle the, and, you know, and I'll say it again that was that might have been the best Halle Berry scene I've ever seen. Like that, her twenty minute fight scene, or at least that's what it felt like, was awesome. The whole yo, thing she, from the, start she, to finish. Yo, she loved them dogs, and them dogs loved her, dude. Hey, look, I was about to riot though if he would have killed that dog like that. Yeah, no, nah, man, that was amazing, man. That was uh, yo. Was John great. was like, "Don't do it." She was like, "Nah, he shot my dog." John said, "I I get it." Yeah. <laughs> John was like, "I get it. Trust me." Yeah, she went. She yo that the dog ripped it, ripped up the man's nuts, and then she shot him in the knee. You don't mess with somebody, dog, man. I know, dude. You can't, yeah, man. Hey, hey, you can't mess with somebody, dog. Um, all right. So, uh, where do you rank the John Wick trilogy? Um, I mean, like, you know, I, to me, like Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, the first set, um, uh, Captain America trilogy. The Avengers trilogy, Batman, Nolan trilogy. Um, just off the top of my head, those are some that stick out with all three being good movies. Okay, well, I'm going to stop you right there. One of these must go. And it's gone forever. Okay. Batman trilogy, John Wick trilogy, Star Wars, or the Avengers trilogy. Boom. Ah, well, Star, well, Star Wars, Star Wars has got to stay. That's that's got to stay. Um, uh, what, what was it? Star Wars, Avengers, Captain America, or uh, Star Wars, Avengers, John Wick, and Batman? Yep. Oh boy. Um. This is going to sound crazy. I'm leaning towards Nolan's Batman only wow. because like we need the we need those Avengers movies. I mean, like those are those are those are just history making movies. Those were all great movies. Um I mean, I'm not we're, we're obviously not counting Age of Ultron, are we? Well, I know because if we are, then that changes things. Because I think I could. Well, actually, I I enjoy Age of Ultron. You know what? Let me. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna say that. I I, I I'm leaning towards. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards Nolan's Batman. And I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna say the same thing. It's they, they it, it can be gone forever, and I'm only saying this because. Uh, man, Christian Bale did an awesome thing. He was really amazing. But, um, well, and the ending of Batman, the last ending of Batman, I wasn't a big fan of. But they were always they they, they will always have the capacity to make another Batman movie. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I agree with that. But the Avengers, the Avengers movie, it sparked Black Panther. It sparked everything. Well, and and it was it was a it was a perfect storm. Like you, those elements all worked out perfectly you know it wasn't i don't think they could have predicted that it would go as smoothly as it did no yeah amazing and you know star wars um that that kind of set a genre of sci-fi not kind of at all it did yeah, there's, a, there's no there's no kind of like you can't you can't take away star wars yeah like not even for, you as a star trek fan can take away star wars i will say for for tv star trek set the tone for sci-fi that might be true but we're not talking about TV. Oh, so no, I, I, I just have to give a plug for Star Trek whenever I can. So, um, yeah, but no, for Star Wars for movies, it, it was it was it, it, it set it set the tone for like like even for like the whole 
mythical or messiah kind of character who could save everybody. It's true. Yeah, but for Batman, they will always be able to make another Batman dude. Um, I don't know if you did this on purpose, but you took my one's got to go because that was going to be the one I was going to ask you. I know. I had, I had, I was, I had to do it. I, I had to cut you off. Uh, so, and then you, you kind of threw me off with the Star Wars one because I didn't think you were going to put, I didn't put that in mind. And there's no way. Hey, I can't, I can't get rid of Star Wars. Hey man, um, uh, Uncle Oz, Uncle Oz, he still, he still has it, dude. But that's okay. He may, give, it, he may give away a million dollars, but he still has it. Because look, I, I'm, I'm still ready to go like this. Here's, one's got to go for you. John Wick. And this is all incarnations. And mm. everything about them. So John Wick. James Bond. Mm. Okay. All incarnations. Batman. Mm. Okay. And. Yeah. You ready? I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm here. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm waiting. Sherlock Holmes. I knew you were going to say something like that. Um, see, it, that's hard, man, because each one. They all represent something. Well, it, well, well, and to a certain point, they all kind of are the birth of each other. Like Sherlock Holmes definitely kind of gave to me, gave way to James Bond. The, the the super spy who can solve mysteries and stuff, and then James Bond, kind of the action of James Bond through all the James Bond movies, kind of gave way to a super to the super spy, the one man um, army who can do it all, which is basically what John Wick is, you know. And then and then you you take Batman because Batman and here actually they all fit into that mold because. Sherlock Holmes is the world's greatest detective with home with home, uh, with Watson as his sidekick, Doctor Watson to give respect to his title. Um, I'm like literally the world's like one of the world's smartest men and like you know um, just very like his reason is beyond. He gave birth to the Batman, who is the world's smartest detective, but he can kick your ass too. And so Batman. Gave rise to um, um, Ian Fleming with his take on James Bond, the one man dude who's super smart who can get out of any jam. But basically, who Jack Ryan, if Jack Ryan, the real Jack Ryan, you know. Um, and then, then that gave birth um, to John Wick. You know, it, it, it's crazy. It's that that's dude regular Scott. That literally is an awesome one. All off the top of the dome, dude. Dude, like, hey, hey, you took mine, every, so I had to come up with something. All the listeners, please um, give regular Scott some props for, for doing something right for once. Um, yo, man, that was awesome. That's a good one. They listen. They literally, and I'm gonna tell you, if I take away Sherlock Holmes, the rest are gonna like not be who they are now. So who are you so taking away? I, I'm I'm gonna do. I, um, mm, man, I'm, I'm going to have to leave the show, man. I, I think I'm really upset about this. Okay. Yeah, man, I, was, I, I'm a... Was, uh, was that a shot? Was that a shot fired? No, dude. I think, I think, I, no, no, fire. no, it wasn't shot fired. But that, that dude, that, that, that made me really have to think. And I, uh, dude, I, uh, yeah, man, I, I, that, 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 that's tough. Because you, cause you pissed me off, dude, because you know I have to say, like, ah, you know I have to say John, ah, oh, I can't say John Wick because I love, um, and if I say James Bond, dude, okay, James Bond, that it's gone. <laughs> James Bond, done. But, hey, 007 never existed, only, the, the so that means no Sean it, Connery, no uh, no Pierce Brosnan, it, it, it no mean, Daniel it means, Craig. It means exactly this. It means exactly this. When they're on secret missions for his Majesty for Her Majesty's Secret Service, they always get double O six and double O eight because they don't. They have no idea whatever happened to Double O Seven. He just vanished. He got snapped away. Dude, he got he got he he got iron. He got I am Iron Man. 
you know. All right. Uh, any 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 other any other big uh, spoiler talking points that you want to go over before we uh, get ready to? Because since we just did our one of our favorite segment, one's got to go. Uh, kind of impromptu, right there. Yeah, I love that. Dude. We we still are owed a little spoiler for Game of Thrones. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, you're right. So um, yeah, let's let's get ready. Let's hit Game of Thrones. Thoughts on the finale? Um, it's, it's caused a lot of uproar. Uh, it seems kind of fans are split. Um, I've seen a lot of people saying that they really enjoyed the finale. They thought it wrapped things up, and a lot of people are very mm-hmm. angry about the finale. Maybe not quite a split. I'd probably say more so 60-40, maybe. Angry, 60%. You know, 40, happy. But, um, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, it's they're very strong opinionated both ways. Um, before I give my opinion, Oz, your thoughts on the finale? It felt like season eight was rushed. And anybody who doesn't feel like it was rushed, take a look at the water bottles and the Starbucks cups. Um, well, you know, you don't think it's rushed. I, 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 re- I remember you saying, oh, it's product placement and, you know, Starbucks hey, you is know, in the game. Well, you know. well, guess what? You can do that with Starbucks, but the water bottles are not. It, it, so here. It, it, all that does cause controversy, but you have to admit the storylines were just kind of, it just felt very rushed. And I will say this, you, who they, they said that the night King was the bad guy. I kind of think that, you know, brand is actually the bad dude. I mean, can we, can we, can we talk about it? How brand set everything up for him to become King? Like he kind of, he kind of Peter Baelish everyone on the low. Dude, he little fingered everybody, dude. He little fingered everyone. I mean, what a perfect analogy right there. Brand the broken, little fingered everyone. He uh, so first off, he um, and you know, man, um, some he to a limited point as a three eyed raven, he can see the future. He knows all of the past, and he's just like always aware of the present. But he he knew and had glimpses of what was going to happen, you know. And so um, I think he injured, he placed himself in a good position to do that. Um, uh, yeah, and here's my other thing about the season eight and the last episode. Cause I have a lot to talk about. This, man. A lot of, a lot to get off my chest. It's very therapeutic. Um, I feel, I feel better after John Wick. Um, the last show of game of Thrones for season eight, no one got punished. No one got there. No, no, you know, like, like, no one got like any sort of really bad punishment. You know, Jamie and Cersei, they didn't get any bad punishment. They got it. They got, the, the they people, got a, the, quick, a quick death. Held the people, holding each other the, pe- close. the people of King's Landing got the punishment. You, you want to know who got the real punishment? They, they, here, royalty never gets punished. The common folk are getting punished. You saw that one dude, like half naked, half burnt, just walking in a daze out, you know. Um, and, you know, it also shows that Bran still takes care of his own. He possessed that horse, dude. Oh, you're, you know? so you're, you're, you're definitely going calling that, that he warged into that horse. Oh, he's getting just he's to save changing. Arya. He skin changed into that horse to get Arya out. Oh, God, of course he did. He didn't that was skin a... change into it. He warged into it. He's, he's not an well, anamorph. No, no, dude. It, 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 whatever the process is, it's not. Um, there's a there's a thing called. Um, uh, I'm gonna look it up. Uh, yeah, but he, that's not what he does. He he wargs into animals. No, but as as a three eyed raven though, um, he can do. It's I think it's called. Um, I, I might have to look this up now. I think it's called skin, uh, like skin changers. Um, it's called it, warging. You, okay, well, well, hold on. I want to just get my source right. Listen, you Oz, know? you've been wrong before on this show. I, I'm pretty sure I've never been wrong. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> hey, look, I I heard a collective laugh from the audience as they listened to that. Yeah, hey man, hey, what? what let me let me just tell you guys this. What do I know, man? You know, I, I know nothing, you know, and, and that's part of the um, the good part of it. Hold on, let me, let me just try and do a little research. But the whole thing is this cat, you know, 
he um he's gonna do that to Drago. Um, he's gonna try and get inside Drago, dude. And the whole thing about that is like Drogan. Uh, yeah, you can um you can do it, but you have to be of a certain um. The, the what? first time when, he, did he, when did he try to get into the dragon? I he he he's going to. That's what? that's the reason why he was looking for him. For what? What? When? What are you talking about? Did you not hear at the very last scene when he asked? So it, is it um it, um any sightings of um Drago? Um, Drago. Drogan. Dro- Drogo. Drogan. He, Drogan. It, no. Yes. It is, yeah. It's Drogan. It is D R O G O. N. No. It is not named directly after Cal Drogo. Um. Uh. uh no. Yes. Um. So, yo, all our listeners, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to prove this. Um. All right, dude. I, it's I got, Drogan. I, I have it right here. Drogan, Rhaegal, and Viserion. Drogan. No. Nah. Okay, Drogan. Okay, fine. That's fine. Drogan. Come on, man. Um, can't so for the king. The, like the very look, man. The very last scene, he asks where any progress on where Drogo is. Drogan. Drogan. Where? Okay, calm down, man. <laughs> calm, calm yourself down. Take a breath. Take a breath. What's his name? Drogan. <laughs> Thank you. Now take a breath. I'm gonna take a breath. Sit beer. back in your chair and take a breath and take a and take a powder. Listen, as I was trying to say before, who cares what the fucking dragon? I care. He, he asked where the dragon was. Which one? He can go into the dragon and possess the dragon. If he could have went into the dragon, he would have he would have done that. Dude, that's not how it works with his powers. He has to make contact with the dragon, and because of the, because the because the dragon is pretty strong will, the dragon can kick you out the first time. So you have to continue to do it like like you are bucking, like you like you're trying to tame a horse. What make, Dude, what makes you think that he wants to control a dragon? Dude. Oh, and here, <laughs> let me help you out with something else too. Cuz I really cuz I cuz see, I, I get a little agitated and I need to just take a <laughs> breath myself. Okay. Your your um the, it is called skin changers, by the way. <laughs> what what's called skin changers? Um, when you deal with like the green seers, um, they can, they can be skin changers. And that means that they can possess animals, um, or other, yeah, or other creatures, what you're calling the warfin or whatever. Right. But that's from the book. That's not, that's not in the TV show. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about what they what, what their titles are for real yeah you but know, but, I, but they're not a, they're not in the tv show though yeah 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 they, they, we're, nah, I, I, we're, we're splitting hairs it's what he it's part of his ability as a green seer and a three-eyed raven is also to be a skin changer okay. so the point is he want he would want to possess the dragon people he would want to keep tabs on the dragon in case the dragon wanted to come back to get some more revenge or to figure out what the dragon did with Daria's body. Since Jon Snow was res- resurrected was once he was stabbed, maybe the dragon sent Daria somewhere to resurrect her. That's why he would want to possess the dragon. Now, moving on. There's still a- absolutely no factual evidence that he wants to possess the dragon. but I'll, I'll... We're, we're dealing with a non-factual show. And also, these are all just theories. That, but that doesn't that that does not that does not mean. Just, why why do you think he wants to know where the dragon is? You say why? Yeah, I I don't think he does. I think he was just curious if they knew where it was. Why? I don't, would I don't have, think he really so, cares. Wh- why would a person who can see? see all things or just be only present why would why would he ask that question if he didn't care 
because he just wants he's he's obvious he wants to be all knowing like he wants to know he doesn't and why does he need a hand to know certain things um he he has two positions that still aren't filled which is the minister of whispers or whatever um when he's that he knows all things yeah but he still needs a whisperer yeah hey dude i'm sorry ma'am um, that cat is the bad guy, and the Starks are fucked up. The, Star- the Starks are a cause of a lot of almost all the, the tragedies. So you didn't like the finale? No, dude. I, the whole the whole season eight was just like very convenient. No, but no one got any sort of punishment. The only people who got punished was um, Grey Worm when he lost his love. And the Hound. Yeah, but dude, well, no, he, he didn't get punished. He got what he wanted to. He just, all he ever wanted to do was kill his brother. But he got punished because he died. No, he, he, he death, ever, all throughout every season, he had explicitly said death is not a punishment to him. Or, or just saying that like he's not afraid of death. So he he just wanted all he wanted to do was kill his brother. Everybody got what they wanted, and that is a crazy story. That's just it's crazy. You know, Arya didn't get what she wanted. Arya it, Arya is sailing and off into mystery and everything. She got what she wanted too. She didn't get to kill Cersei. She she gave up all that. You know, after the hound talked to her. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Nope. Everybody got what they wanted, dude. Simple as that. So what are you what are you ranking it? Uh man, it was uh, that was this and then the whole dragon wings behind her and the speech. That like, was dude. that was one of the best uh visuals of the entire season. That was awesome. Uh that was great. Too, it was the no, dragon it, queen it, spreading her wings as she takes her throne. No, it, it was Perfect also visual. just. It was also just very contrived, just to say, "Okay, now she's evil." I loved it. You would. I did. You know, um, it's just it's just very yeah that all that was just like simple. He's got it. He's got his own army. The Three Eyed Raven has his own army. He already has. Um, his knights with like his like um, emblem on their armor already. Good lord, man! Well, I'm sure he's playing this out for a while. If you yeah. think if you if you're so sure he's the bad guy, I'm sure he's playing this out for a while, dude. He's not the benevolent benevolent king, dude. And and also, what Tyrion is still getting played. And he he is still the person who gets played by everybody. Every person who's ever been a king to him or a queen to him, um, and he's been their advisor, has played him, or he just has missteps. Just he just doesn't know him. Okay, he chose Bran. He's thought a lot about this and thought that Bran would be the perfect 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 person. Three Eyed Raven. The last Three Eyed Raven lived to be a thousand years old. How is that for democracy? Well, he said you his know, reasoning was because he couldn't bear children. Yeah, and I, well, he, and he also he also was just like you know um, we always uh, it, it's always it, it will stop the family lineage. It, it will stop all lineage. It will just make him king for a thousand years. Maybe that's yeah, where the he, sequel will pick up. That's his. Um, well, it's supposed to be a prequel, but uh, yeah, that's his evil dude. That's his. That is very methodical evil. He took out all his rivals. So what you're saying is they spent way too much time worrying about the Star Wars movie they're going to come out with. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the showrunners. You know they're doing the next Star Wars movie. Oh, well, well they lost their interest, man. Of course. They, they were like, hey, we get, we get, to, we get to fuck up another um, classical, that, that, another, another thing that people love. Yeah, dude, there, it was terrible. I mean, look, the fight scenes are always good. Um, yeah, John and Daria's chemistry was non-existent. Um, Who's Daria? 
Um, oh, sorry, uh, Denaria. Uh, D- D- Danny. Yeah, wh- wh- whatever, dude. I'm just no. I I I I just want to clarify so everybody knows who you're talking about. Yeah, because Daria yes. is another character. Oh well, um, Dan- Danny. Okay. I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being for real because Daria is another character. No, no, it's good, man. I, I like I I, I I like it. I like it. Okay. okay. All right. Great. Wonderful. Um. All right. Um. I I don't have too much to add. Um. I think. Uh. I think the Night King should have had his own season. I think Danny should have had a, her own season of going mad. Um. With Jon Snow kind of slowly seeing it and being loyal for, throughout the beginning, and then towards the end, kind of seeing her go get madder and madder. And I think it should have been spread out another season. I think the Night King should have had more than an episode of battle. Um. I think that should have taken at least a couple episodes. Uh, Bran definitely had some evil intentions from the beginning. I mean, he obviously set Theon up to die. You know, he told Theon, yeah, you're going to come with me. So he knew what was up. Well, he also said you're a good man. So I don't know if that was a bad thing. So, yeah, so, yeah, he, 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 he definitely, uh, he definitely set some people up. I, I think I, uh, tend to agree with you. Yeah. What are you? What are you gonna give it? Because um, I'm giving it. A, I'm season, giving it a solid MGK. The whole season, or just the last episode? The whole season, and then Game of Thrones itself as a whole. As a oh, season, I'm giving it an MGK. I don't know. That, that's hard to do, man. Like, you, you can't just like. Yes, you can. Um, well, yeah. Obviously, it's an MGK. It's just middle of the road, you know. So now, what do you give Game of Thrones as a whole? Um, it wasn't quite a Dexter. Oh no, I'm bad sorry. I was finale. I was giving Game of Thrones as a whole uh, uh, MGK. Oh wow, really? Well, I mean, you know, uh, it was yeah, I, 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 MGK with the Infinity Gauntlet. It was good, but it could have been so much better. I thought the first season was super slow and confusing to me, um, you know, and then. Um, I really got into things during like season five. Wow. No, season four. See, well, season four. Um, it, 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 it just, you know, um, there the, the were, I, I can't, I, I'll give it, I'm not going to give it to Iris West because it's not deserving of Iris West. Wow. Um, so Game of Thrones is not one of your top five TV shows of all time. No way. Is it one of yours? Yeah. Oh, what are your top five then? <sighs> I mean, The Wire, um, Game of Thrones. Breaking Bad. Sopranos. These are shows that you've watched all episodes of these? At least once. Okay. Because I, I, w- I would just think that if they're your top of all time, you would want to see them multiple times. So you, you what was last time you wanted? What was last time you rewatched one of these classics of yours? Well, the Wire, the Wire, I've rewatched this year. The Wire, okay. I usually watch once a year. Yeah, yeah, I can dig that. I can dig that. Yeah. The Sopranos, I do not. I, I did do not rewatch. Breaking Bad, I do not rewatch. So maybe they're not um, my top five, but I, I I would rewatch game. I've rewatched Game of Thrones at least five or six times. I've like I re- the full I re-watched series. Some battle scenes, you know. No, like no, the full series, like from season one on, from season from season five until now, I have rewatched the entire series. I've watched some. I've rewatched some episodes myself of that, but you know. I, I'll give you the Sopranos. I don't rewatch the Sopranos or Breaking Bad, but I rewatch The Wire. I rewatched Dexter, even though Dexter had an awful last season. Yeah, it's just like again, just very convenient, you know. Like, like Lost, the first season was awesome. Then after the writer strike, it just became just terrible, you know. Terrible, terrible. So, well, it is what it is. All right, well, Game of Thrones, you let a lot of people down. Um, and, and again, there's some really awesome, awesome, memorable moments of it. But the last season was just, uh, and then the ending just felt so, yeah. So what's I your... mean, like, but even in that episode, there was still some cool stuff. Like when 
John was like like startled by the dragon, Drago. Drogan. Drogan. <laughs> Al Drogan. Al Joe, Drogan. Joe, Joe, Joe Drogan. Um, what? Hawk, Hawk Drogan. Um, what? Drogan's Heroes. Um, I don't know what he's talking about, ladies. I'm just ladies. trying to figure out all the words that rhyme with Drogan. Um, Slogan. Well, you, you, you never heard of Hogan's Heroes, dude? Or um, <laughs> I wasn't born in the '40s, so. Oh, <laughs> well, that show wasn't in the '40s either. <laughs> but no, nah, um, no. Nah, so it it, it 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 was it was cool. It just man, um, you just don't know what happened to everybody, man. You know. All right. All right. Well. It's okay. Um, you know, we'll get prequels. So maybe that'll wipe the bad taste out of our mouth. So Oz, let me ask you before we go to our final blow, what's what's a what's some of your most rewatchable T V shows? Um I watched Star Trek Discovery uh the first season. I g I I've I've rewatched that several times. That's just been weird. I've been enjoying it. I've enjoyed that a lot. Um like, look here, here you go, Young Justice. Um, well, that's that's because it's twenty minute episodes over like three, two seasons. There's been like four seasons. No, there's been two seasons. This is the third season. Well, well that that one season was like the current season was a very long. Was like a, I think that was like supposed to be split. Yeah, but 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 yeah, but still, regardless. Oh, oh, well, if we're talking shows like that, then I got, like, The Leftovers. Like, I've rewatched that two, three times. Well, hold on. You're the one who said <laughs> Breaking Bad and Sopranos were your favorite, were your all-time favorite shows that you watched once. Well, well I mean, they, they were, they were, <laughs> I remember when I watched them, I was like, wow, that was a really good show. But, but yeah, but see... Your all time favorite, you go back and you rewatch it. You're like, Yeah, that was good. So I want to hit it up again, dude. And and by the end of the and when we finished that, I said you were right about the Sopranos and Breaking Bad. I conceded yeah. it. So what are you saying? No, no. Well I'm just saying this is the original. Like, I, thought. I, con- I conceded it. Yeah, the, yes, you, you you absolutely did. And so <laughs> So what do you I don't understand what point so you're what, to prove. No, no, no. What what are your uh, what are your all-time favorite shows? So just like my all-time, just pure favorite shows is probably. I'm not trying to put. I'm not. I'm not putting you on the spot. No, I'm you just, are putting just... me on the spot, but it's okay. No, no, no. No, I'm here we go. I got ask. it. I got it. Um, okay. Game of Thrones definitely is still one of my all-time favorite shows. Black Mirror, um, and, and I I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm dying on this hill. Arrow is one of my all-time favorite shows. Because I've rewatched multiple seasons. Okay. Hey, hey yo, man. Hey, yeah, man, no, no, no. This is my time, dude. You want to know? I'm going I'm to rattle them off for you. No, no, no. Stand up to your truth, dude. That's yeah. all. Hey, I hold strong for Arrow. Last season coming up. Next season. Ten episodes. Let's get it. So I'm so happy about that, dude. <laughs> Can't wait. Hey, so the, the uh, quick little side thought. Uh, Batwoman. The, uh, it's gotten a little backlash. I know. Uh, people don't like the agenda that it seems to be producing. Well, people people don't like that. Um, the the opening lines are, "He abandoned us." Oh, I think more so. People are more so upset at the fact that she's she's turning everything Batman does into man versus woman. Yeah. Okay. What do you feel? How do you feel about that controversy? I, I, that, that that that's that's a non statement to me. That's like a, that's a non controversy. Um, the, what I've been hearing on the chatter is that um, they don't like uh, people don't like the fact that um, that Batman would never abandon Gotham, and so who is this? Like again, who's this woman? Who's this person to come in and do this? You know, I, you know, I, dude, people just want junk to talk about, man. All right, Final- to all our listeners, rise above all that silliness, man. All right, final blow time, Oz. What you got for the final blow? Oh man, um, I'm gonna. T- I, I I have to. Um, if it's, if it's still out, check out uh, 
Brightburn. Brightburn. Um, I really need to see that. Looking forward to it. Um, I had a friend of mine see Hellboy, and I recommended that he did, that he not waste his money. And he said, yeah, it was a piece of turd. So, yeah, the new reboot of Hellboy is terrible. Um, we got to talk about that one next time. Um, and, uh, yo, that's all I got, man. Um, my final blow is uh, I was a guest on the Defy Life podcast uh, from this past week. So definitely check that out if you haven't. Um, make sure you listen to those guys. They always put up a great conversation. Um, shout out to uh, West Coast J, who is now officially a member of the Defy Life podcast. So um, he's no longer yes, West Coast Jay, He's dude. no longer a free agent and a roamer. He's 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 officially a part of the show now. Well, he deserves it, man. He's yeah, he's he's good people, man. No, he he is he is a good dude. Um, and uh, also uh, looking forward to Aladdin. <sighs> I, I I I'm a I'm a big Will Smith guy, so I'm 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 intrigued by any, so that and he's also got another movie coming out soon. I'm looking forward to too, but. You know. What's his other movie? I Am Legend Part Two. It's something like where he's got to kill his like his clone. That's oh, been made. I heard about that. Yeah, he has to. His clone is out to kill him, right, and his clone right. is younger and smarter. I get it. Yeah, yeah. The clone that, is that, younger, smarter. You like almost like like without any of his weaknesses. They said. Yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm intrigued, man. I I like Will Smith. I think he, I think he's going to go down as one of our more underrated actors when we look back at it. No, he's he's one of the top like ten. He's not underrated. It's just that for after a certain amount of time, all of them start being there's the same person in the movie. You know, they like they they like Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise in every movie. But I, I like what Tom Cruise has done now. Like I like his character that he's doing in Jack Reacher and, and Mission Impossible. Like I like this. Yeah, little, but this you, little... you know, those guys will never be able to expand. You know, like. Um, yeah, it just uh, it gets a little, it can be a little frustrating to say. Like even your boy from um uh, from um sorry John Wick, uh, the 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 manager, he's that he's that cat in every hey, from in the wire everything. Yeah, from the wire, absolutely. Hey, you know, hey, shout out to the wire. All right, um, hey, that's all I got. We did it, Oz. We got through another show. Dude, what was your final blow? I told you what my final blow was. Oh man, my brain, dude! I gotta have some more beer. I was on the All Defy right. Life podcast. Check them out, and then I was. Oh going, yeah, okay. And then yes, West Coast J being a, a regular on the Defy Life show. I, here, I'll give you another final blow. Um, uh, I got nothing else actually. Yeah, I, I, I I'm, I'm just. I, I, I <laughs> what? I just, I'm, I, I have nothing else to say, man. I, I gotta figure. I, um, Yo, are you I, interrupting I, I, my final blow to give another final blow? No, you you said you you said I got nothing left. Okay, all right. Uh, t- tell everyone we'll talk to them next time. Um, everybody, um, stay tuned. Don't forget, um, Big B stats our, coming up. Yeah, Big B stats. Surprise dude. podcast is dropping this week. I'm not telling you when. Might be that should be, that should have been our final blow, dude. Why? Um, you know, just, just, just to this announce. Yeah, it's gonna be a surprise. Well, I, I, I want to make. I wanted to say it early, just in case people don't listen all the way to the end of the show. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I, I, you got to be smart about that. Dude. You got to be smart. Anyway, man. Um, everybody, uh, peace and chicken grease. Until next time. Oh, you added until next time to your peace uh, and chicken grease. Hey, man. Huh? Hey, did we 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 be doing like we, <laughs> Hey, we, we we're we're doing big things now, man. Oh. You added something to your little exit part. Oh, huh? nice. All right. Hey, um, hey, 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 man. Hey, we are about a hey, as a as a as a blur. We need to all start being about evolution, man. All right. Now y'all have a good time because we go have a good time until we talk to y'all next time. Peace. You added something new to your intro, huh? Yeah, man. Hey, man. Hey, Siri. Hey, how may I help you? Play the Relationship Status Podcast. Playing the Relationship Status Podcast. You know, I, I would ask them, like, what are you doing? You know, where are you going with this? What are you trying? 
and he really didn't have like a real answer. Okay. So I didn't feel like we were gonna be compatible well, later I, I, on down the line. I think that goes back to something I've, I've often heard and think myself that men date women thinking they're never going to change and women date men thinking that they are thinking that they can change them relationship status new episode every monday at 12 noon on defy life network